Hey guys, this is Andres Minov with the Fast Lane Truck and Kent with MrTruck.com. And Kent, this is the I Gauntlet. This is the world's toughest towing test. This is the Super I Gauntlet, which means we are maxed out on this truck. We are maximum towing, maximum trailer payload and tongue weight. Yep, and this is a 2017 Chevy Silverado 2500 work truck. It's a double cab, it's a four x four, and I cannot wait to take this gas V8 up this mountain. exciting because we're loaded to the max. We are. And that's funny how we do that. The Chevy seems to always be the one we max out. Well, it has a gooseneck hitch, so why not use it? That's true. That's true. In our Silverado HD 2500, our power plant is the 6-liter Vortec V8 with a 6-speed automatic. Now, this power plant's been around a long time. It's a well-proven engine for Chevy, and we're actually proving it again today with maximum load on this. This puts out 360 horsepower and 380 pound-feet of torque in its four-wheel drive configuration with the double cab. With this gas engine, this six-liter Vortec, I was surprised to see that the power steering boost is hydro. It runs off the power steering pump. Most of these are vacuum. Usually, this combination is with a diesel engine. Our test trailer today for this Super I Gauntlet is our Big Tex 30-foot trailer. This has got two 15,000-pound axles. It's the real deal. We're pulling two water totes, all in a gooseneck fashion, one of the easiest ways to tow a trailer. Now this is a two-speed jack, so I can go fast or slow. On the way up, fully loaded, you have to have the second speed, the gearing, because otherwise it's too heavy. The legs are up, the landing gear is up, so let me measure how much the truck squatted. Empty the truck was about 43 inches to the wheel well right here. There's about 40 inches on this side and 41 on the other, so if you average that out, that's 40 and a half. So it's about two and a half inches of squat overall with about 2,000 pounds of tongue weight. Now, Andre, this looks a little different. Why are the water totes so far apart? Well, you know what? You know, you see semi trucks with load that are spread out. Sure, it's a bridge, the... yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Okay, well, it's a very big bridge. All right, 7% grade. I count it downhill. Okay, let coming up. Yes. Okay, and you have a digital speed readout, so you yep. should be able to 48. see it. Forty-eight. And this is somewhat of a new grade shift program from GM. Yes. They did that on the diesel, and I think they've done it to this transmission. And you can actually control the grade braking. You can turn it off by holding the tow haul button. Right. For a few seconds, and we've enabled it. So I think. When you touch the brake for the okay. first time. There we go, the first time. Did it grade shift for you? Not yet. There it did. It did there. Okay. We're going back so bring it to 50. to 50. There we go. So we have one application. Holy cow, this road is rough today. Well, it's the winter really wears down these highways. It does. The frost comes out, you get cracks in the pavement. I have to give some credit to Chevy on tuning their suspensions because yeah. empty this truck, this 2500 work truck, actually rides doesn't pretty smoothly yeah yeah they they do and they do a really good job but here we go here's another one with how they do their asymmetrical rear springs that means that the springs are not in the center of the axle they're forward and they have done a really excellent job of, with managing that so you don't get as much squat this is how much two inches two and a half inches two and a half inches yeah. that's a very good squat so uh, bottom line on the downhill in the 2017 Chevy 2500 work truck with a gas V8, 13 brake applications. Uh -huh. But I don't think we overheated anything. I think we're no. doing good. We're starting the I Gauntlet uphill, eight miles, 7% grade, to over 11,158 feet above sea level. And we start the timer at these lights over here on the merge lane. Okay, we are and 30, go. 34 miles to the gap, man. Okay, the timer is going. Yep. I got zeroed out an MPG. You zeroed out. Do you think you will reach 60 miles that's an hour? That's my goal. I think I will with this load. I think I will get to 60, and that's kind of what everything but one truck has done 
the last several years with a load. So we're doing the same procedure, right? We're not using uh, manual shifting. Right. We're we'll let, we'll let the truck do it. Yes, it's all up to the truck computers and how everything's set up. And this transmission is a little weird uh, because it lets the RPMs drop so much between gears. And that's always worried me. I'm not sure, I, you know, because that means you got to start over again and gain power. There right it goes. There, it grade shifted and, and, you know, put it right back in. We're in a full horsepower RPM band now. Yeah. So we're maximum horsepower, and that's where I like it. But it drops too far when it, when it does shift. We might make it to 60. We're at 55. Now, so look at that. It dropped, my gosh, it drops over 1,500 RPM. Next time it shifts, I want to measure the sound level. Okay. I have a decibel meter here, and I want to measure exactly what it is. Wow, we died right there. We just lost our power. There it goes. An hour, yeah. Can you let's let's listen. Seventy-one point three. That doesn't sound like too bad of a level, but usually we're in the sixties, right? In some of the other trucks. Right, and this is. Uh, this is running between 51 and 5200 RPM on attack. And that's where it's most of its torque and horsepower is. Guys, I have to be honest. I really love the way this three quarter ton is configured, but I have two little nitpicks. I'm not a fan of chrome. I don't like all the chrome in the front bumper and the grill. And I just want a little bit more power from the six liter V8. Or maybe GM can put a little bit more powerful different gas motor. But the value on this truck is really, really good. $44,300 the way you see it here with the 20 inch rims and the tow mirrors and the gooseneck package. This truck has a lot of value for six people and four by four. combination but uh, it's certainly not the fastest truck so actually over two years ago we towed with a six liter Chevy now was a full crew cab yes. this is an extended cab but still has four doors mm -hmm. and actually I love this configuration I like the shorter cab because the truck is a little bit more compact okay we're getting very close to the uh, to the end well, this it turns into two lanes well yeah and Am I okay can you, can you go over? yeah I can move over. Go, 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 move, 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 move. Are you still flat out? Yes, I've never taken my foot off of this. That's how these things work. This is a nail biter. We still have a clear highway. We can move over if you want. I keep seeing his face and in my mirror. I don't want whose to face? Him. Mine? <laughs> um, we're approaching 10 minute mark, guys. And we always stop the timer at the lights at the top of the mountain. And this is the world's toughest towing test because you've been flat out, wide open throttle for over 10 minutes now. We're down to 30 miles an hour. We're just it's losing power. It's not shifting? No, it's not. What's the fuel economy? Keep, keep your eye on the fuel economy. Yeah. Because we always tell you guys what the computer trip meter is saying. Yes, I hope this thing doesn't stop. <laughs> Whoa, it's 26 really- 26 miles How are the hour. temperatures? How are the temperatures? We're all mediums, we're all and fine. And stop. 2.3 miles to the gallon. 2.3? 10 minutes and 20 seconds. This test is a perfect example of diesel versus gas difference in a heavy duty truck. If you had a diesel truck, uh -huh. you would perform much better at what we just did. Right. But for everyday truck, for a recreation guy who carries a camper or tows a boat, this gas V8 is a really good choice. Well, sure, and someone like you, recreational tower, would not tow this big a load, you know, and that's where it's hard to beat a diesel when we're comparing to a bigger trailer. Breaking downhill, power uphill, mile per gallon, it's just not on the same scale. Go back to tfotruck.com for more news, views, and real world reviews, and Kent with MrTruck.com or go to MrTruck.com. <laughs>